Outdoor activities are a part of Transylvania County life. One Brevard Brewery is a big contributor. In this special Zip Trip edition of Carolina Blends and Brews, I visit Acousta Brewing. Needed to change, and so we found the mountains of Western North Carolina. Uh, my wife, we drove over here. She looked at Brevard in five minutes said, this is where we're moving. Josh Chambers' arrival in Brevard and love for craft beer led to Acousta Brewing. They moved to a new location in October, rehabbing the former medical facility of the old Acousta paper mill, the only building left of a once sprawling facility. It was definitely a diamond in the rough. I mean, had you seen this place before, as we, even my lender looked at it, and she just looked at me and said, okay, I trust you. It's now an indoor outdoor space with a separate bar for special events. Brewing is done downstairs. They can have eight beers working at once using tanks they know by name. I am a product of the uh, 70s, so we do have Jake and of course, Elwood. <laughs> so this is our Dead Drift American style pale ale. It's a nice copper color. 20 taps are available, 16 dedicated to their brews, representing multiple styles. I like to go balance, and that's what I feel like we do really well, is we bring a balance between the malts and the hops. Looking for something with a little fruit? They've got that too. So what we do is we do a just a plain seltzer, uh, and then the people that order the seltzer can add in whatever fresh squeezed fruit they want. Usually we have two or three options on that one. Acousta Brewing Company is located right on the Brevard Pike Path, which hooks up to the Pisgah National Forest behind me, making this a great place for those who enjoy the outdoors. They also partner with Outdoor Causes. A portion of the proceeds from Rails to Trails Pale Ale supports Friends of the Acousta Trail. The Three Amigos Mexican Lager is another fundraiser. There's these three guys. They volunteer their time and they go up into the forest. Nobody even knew this, really. They go up into the forest and would maintain trails, rebuild bridges, and do it on their own dime and time. A dollar of each pint goes to those guys to help pay for chainsaws, lumber, gas, and stuff like that. In addition to partnerships with Conserving Carolina and Pisgah Pride Day, they've also run Fat Tuesday Gumbo Cook-Offs for the almost home no-kill dog shelter. On June 24th, you can be there for the St. Baldrick's Day Shave-a-thon, raising funds for our children's cancer research. Bringing smiles to those who come in, a point of pride at the brewery. Most rewarding is just seeing happy people. I mean, I get to do this every day. Enjoy responsibly. For more information on Acousta and some of those organizations they've partnered with, we've got links in the story on Carolina Blends and Brews and on WSPA.com. Just go to the tab in the news tab, find Carolina Blends and Brews, take you right to the story. Well, they are in a beautiful Beautiful portion of that county, aren't they? Yes, they are. And again, right on that trail. So everything that the county has available and all mm. the way to Henderson County, once they get that uh, one trail done, you'll have all of that at your disposal. Yeah, although.